All right, welcome back. And what we're going to talk about in this video here is uh, Jim Edwards' idea of being able to set up a playlist. Uh, and what you basically do with this playlist is you shoot a video of yourself introducing the topic, talking about the videos that are upcoming. It doesn't have to be very long. It could just be a minute or two, really. Or it could be a uh, much longer training, which then you say, okay, now I got these other five videos or however many you want, a whole bunch more videos that are going to come as part of this playlist. And again, you can give this away as a lead funnel. You can give it away as a lead magnet. Um, you can put it inside of a membership area, even though it doesn't need to be. You could just get somebody to come into an opt-in page and go, hey, here I got the uh, five greatest videos on how to do blah, 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 blah. And um, so click here and we'll send you the playlist. But then again, the first video is you talking about the subject, introducing what's going on, and then the rest of the videos in the playlist will be stuff that you curated from inside of YouTube. In our case here is what we're going to use is YouTube. So first thing we need to do is to create a playlist. And so what we're going to do is we're going to leave all these pages open that I have. And we're going to come over here to playlists and I'm going to click, hold on my command and click on playlist so we can open up a new tab. And then we're going to come over here to the top right and we're going to click on new playlist. And I already had done this once, so I'm going to call this MN Demo Playlist 2. So Membership Ninjas Demo Playlist 2. And you can make it public, you can make it unlisted, uh, whatever you want. In this case here, because you're giving it away, maybe you make it unlisted. Uh, so that not everybody and their brother can see it online. Got to give it a little bit of scarcity. So we're going to say we're going to create that now. And now here it is, and we can come over and we can click on edit it in YouTube. And what you're going to basically do once you get into the edit page is you're going to be able to change the name. You're going to be able to put in a description, all that kind of stuff. But you have to actually end up going to the actual videos themselves in order to put them into the list. So again, we can edit the name uh, again here if we want it public or what we want it as. And then you got a share link right here and you can put in a description. Uh, so now what we're going to do now is so we got uh, we already got our playlist made. So the first thing we have to do is go back and find a video that we want to use in order to do this. And I wanted to use this video right down here. So this would be my intro video. It's not really an intro video for this, but we're going to pretend that this is my intro video to all the rest of the videos that we're going to put out there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come down here. I'm going to open up my playlist and I'm going to say, we want to put that in our membership ninjas demo PL two, and we will click on done and we will click on save. Now what we can do is go back into our playlist and let us reload that page and the video should pop up right here. So here's our video and we're going to come over to these three dots and we're going to say we want to, let me see here, we want to set as the playlist thumbnail. So because we're going to set that now, it'll always show up in here as the thumbnail for this. Now what we want to do is we want to go out and we want to grab some videos. So years ago, this is like 11 years ago now, my brother had a whole bunch of international harvester trucks. And I shot a whole bunch of videos for it. So I'm just going to use these uh, trucks. So that's what we're talking about. We're selling people old international harvester trucks, I guess. So what we want to do is just come here. You got these three lines and the plus sign next to it. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to ask us where or what playlist we want to put this on. And we're going to say we want our MN Demo PL2. And then we will scroll down. Well, I guess we don't have to scroll down. We just click out of here. And that will be done. Let's go back in and click on it again just to make sure that it took it. No, it did not. So let's click on that again. And is there somewhere to save this? I'm not seeing it anywhere. So let's try it one more time to see if it's stuck. Okay, this time it did. I think it's because the page was reloading itself. And so now let's just go down the line. I've got a number of them open here. And so we will go to the next one and we will click on the plus. And we will click on MN Demo 2. And we will click out of there. 
And now let's just click back on it again just to make sure it took because the screen is bouncing around a bunch. Okay, that one's good. And we'll just do one more. And I'll let the page load up a little bit. All right, let's try to see if this will work. And we will click on it. And now it should be added to our playlist. So now let's go back into our playlist and let's reload that page. And we should have the... The first video here, again, me introducing the topic, and then we'll have three videos on that topic below it. And again, you can have as many videos in this playlist as you would like. So it looks like I got four of them in here. One of them's a duplicate. That is fine. Because then what you can do is you can come along and you can reorder them. So we can move them around like this. Or let's just click on the three dots again. We can add it to a queue, watch later, save to playlist. We can remove it, top, bottom, add it as a thumbnail. We don't want to do that. But then over here, you can also have it uh, shuffle play, which in this case here, we don't want it to do that because we want somebody to come in and watch this video first and then watch the other videos in the order that they are. And like I said, you can move it around. But we didn't get the thumbnail to show up, so let's see if we can get this set as a thumbnail. And it does not want to seem to put it in there, but let's grab a hold of the share funnel anyway and let us copy that. We will open up a new tab and I will paste this in and let's see what we come up with. And I opened this up in an incognito window because I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work out. And the reason why this first video was not showing in here the thumbnail is simply because what I did is I used an un, it was an unavailable video because it says the video is hidden, which means I, I forget where this video is. I may have this video set as private is the reason why it's not showing up. So again, we can come in and let me see here. Let's change this then. Let's take out this video and uh, let me see here. Save to remove from there. And then let's just say this one here, we want this one to be our set as our playlist. And we will move that up to the top because we want people to watch that video first. Let's do this again. Let's bring this one down. Okay. So now there we have our playlist. So let's come over here and we will reload our playlist and see which truck shows up as the thumbnail for the playlist. And there we go. I think that's the right one. That is the right one. And so that's it. That's how you set up a simple playlist so you can introduce the videos, introduce the topic, and then have people come in and watch all the videos. And again, it's a great way to be able to use that as a lead magnet in order to capture somebody's email address and then be able to continue to market to them over time. So again, as always, got any questions, let me know.